what's up guys and thanks for coming back to watch another reaction video so this time we're actually going to be taking a recommendation from down in the comments so matt under one of the tim henson videos recommend well recommended a lot of things but one of the things that was in there was a guitarist by the name of family jewels and uh i went looked on his page and looked through a lot of the video game songs that he had and uh there was one that caught my eye so if you guys don't know i actually do stream over on twitch uh the same uh same username is on here uh, the link's down in the description if you if you want. But I actually just got done playing Mega Man X and Mega Man X2 uh, about a week or two ago, and am just this week going to start on Mega Man X3. So when I saw that he actually did Mega Man X Melody in there, it was one that I knew I had to listen to. So we're going to get into that. I'm really excited to hear it because that is one of my favorite video games, not just on Super Nintendo, but up, like all time and definitely one of my favorite video game soundtracks too so i'm really excited to hear this i guess it's kind of like a metal cover from what i can can really kind of understand so i'm ready to get into it uh before we do if you are new here you haven't yet please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy the video make sure to hit the like button as well help me get a better sense of what you guys want to see too so i appreciate it but uh without further ado let's get into it Let's see if I can get all these levels correct, too. Of course, the opening stage. One of the more badass ones, too. I mean, I just got done playing it. I should remember this. Oh, that's definitely metal. Hell yeah. Oh, the actual opening stage. Okay, let's go. Not the title screen. Dude, and the fact that he's playing all these parts together, too, is really incredible. Dude, it just hits differently on guitar for some reason. Don't get me wrong, the 8-bit versions are incredible too, but... Ooh, we're going Storm Eagle now. To me, the second best theme from this, uh, from this game. This is always one of the first stages I would go to. This one in Chill Penguin. Dude, that driving beat is just... It's what always made me go to this level first. Alright. Let's go. Okay, when I said the last one was my second favorite, this one right here is my favorite. Spark Mandrill. This is the one that the dude played, too. Ooh. Oh, get it. Ooh, that little harmony right there. Let's go. I didn't want that one to end. Damn. But still, I think this is Sting Chameleon, if I'm not wrong. Dude, this wasn't even like my top, like half of favorite songs from this game. And it's still a banger. Like, what the hell? Ooh, the Boomer Quanger one. Talk about third favorite right here. So it's always the toughest level for me, too, for some reason. It's 
still so much fun to play. I'm just picturing the game in my mind right now, too. Hell yeah. This is a pretty short video, too. I don't know if he plays all of them or just a selection of them, but... Dude, good choices so far. Ooh, okay. Speaking of Chill Penguin, alright. Wow! D okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Because I don't want to miss this 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 version. For, for some reason, for me, like, hearing the Chill Penguin stage, like, in the actual game, like, it's a good song. It really is, but I, I think it's... I don't know, play, playing the, the bass and the guitar and making it not an 8-bit song, and you can tell the difference between all the, all the different instruments. Uh, I don't know why, it just sounds so much more like intense. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's not all kind of like jumbled up 8-bit. The fact that he's actually like putting emphasis on, on different like parts is, oh my gosh. Dude, it, it's, making, it's making me really rethink uh, where I would put Chill Penguin uh, on the list of songs in this game. Last time I'll pause, I'm sorry. Ooh, that little bass line in there too, let's go! Damn! Oh, is that the end? Oh, damn. Oh. My bad. Never mind. My bad. I shouldn't have stopped. My bad. Of course, the pa the password screen. You can see it in the bottom corner too. It's a nice little relaxing song, but like, dude, I would always hear this after I lose all my lives. It always just make me so sad. So I like the song. Don't get me wrong, but it always just brings back bad memories. Okay, okay, okay. The Armored Armadillo one. That, like, this is, again, another incredible song. Again, out of, like, he's definitely picked my top four. Dude. Okay, I never really noticed the two different guitar parts. Damn. What the hell? Oh, oh shit, let's go. <laughs> let's go, dude, this guy is killing it. What the hell? Damn. Okay, now that one really is the end of it. Dude, holy cow. Dude, again, talk about a video game with a very, not just incredible, but very underrated soundtrack. I, I feel like if you would take like Mega Man X and take that soundtrack and put it into like modern day video games where things are very, um, you know, they're done more by bands or orchestras or stuff like that, as opposed to like the 8-bit music. Um, dude, this stuff would really slap, dude. I think I think people would definitely be talking about it a lot more. I mean, the people who used to play like these games, like in the olden days and everything like that, 
we know how great this how great this game is and how great the soundtrack is like everyone that i've talked to or anyone that was in chat that had played this game before that was one of the things that they talked about was just the soundtrack and like you could see it in every single one of those songs it was really incredible and like i said you know between storm eagle um spark mandrill armored armadillo and i'll even give it um gosh boomer quanger like those were always my top four again i think i need to put chill penguin up there now after hearing this rendition of it but dude those dude he picked some of the best some of the best songs out of that the only one that i wish he may have included was um once you get to sigma's fortress at the end after you beat the uh first like eight mini bosses and everything uh the song that you that plays in actually the first two levels of sigma's fortress are really dope i would have loved to hear like some of the uh you know some of the covers of that because those would have sounded effing dope if chill penguins got that much of a glow up from from you know going from 8-bit to guitar that's another one that would have went there too um dude that was so awesome though like it, it totally brings me back to flashbacks of playing this on stream really one of my favorite games and, and i'm so glad to um because now i get to actually like kind of compare his version of spark mandrills uh a theme to the one that the dude did on uh you know in his last uh, omegle guitar song or uh, omegle guitar video pardon me um they were both awesome just you could tell there was a little difference but uh, I got. I can't wait to go back and listen to the both of them and kind of try to listen to them side by side too. That'd be really cool. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the song too, dude. Family Jewels, dude, he is so talented, man. That is that that is some good stuff. And I can't wait to listen to some more of his uh, like video game themes and everything like that too, because it looked like he had a bunch of them. Um, so you guys, if you liked it, please make sure to drop a like because I will definitely uh, definitely react to more of his songs because this was really incredible. Um, but again, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Again, if you did like it, please make sure to go down and drop a like. But uh, we'll see you guys next time.